All right, so now we want to get our SketchUp set up so that it's, it's all ready for Condoc version 2. The two things that we need to do are install the Condoc version 2 default template, and then we also need to install the Condoc RBZ extension. So first, let's go to Window, Preferences. If you're on a Mac, that's going to be on the SketchUp drop-down, Preferences. On the Template tab, you're going to click on Browse. Now, I'm going to navigate to my Desktop, Dropbox, Resources, because that's where I put my Condoc version 2 uh, SketchUp 2015 folder. Inside of there, we're going to go to our Condoc Resources under Imperial, and here's my Condoc 2.0 default template. We're going to choose Open, and then say OK. Now, SketchUp loads the template when it starts up, so we have to start a new document in order to see that happen. So I go to File New, and now every new SketchUp model that I start is going to start with our Condoc template. Nice thing about this template, it has all of our uh, layer states, our utility scenes and utility styles built in, and it has all of our Condoc layers. So really it's about, just about like 10 years of just extremely fast SketchUp modeling has been packed into this template. So everything I've, I've picked up along the years, I'm always evolving this template, and this is the latest and greatest version of it. Okay, so uh, we've got all of our layers, and it's important to use these layers because Condoc will not work unless you're on our layering system. The next thing we need to do is install Condoc. All right, so we'll go to Window Preferences. If you're on the Mac, that's under SketchUp Preferences. And we're going to go to Extensions, and in the bottom left corner it says Install Extension. I'm going to click on that. Now, I'm going to navigate to, same deal here, let me stretch this out, make it a little bit bigger. So you can see the path. This is in our resources, Condoc version 2, and there's that Condoc version 2.0.1.rbz. So this will be the one we want to install. We'll choose open. Uh, if for some reason we have 2.0.2 or 3 or 4, uh, disregard that. This is just, uh, you know, as we, we find little small bugs and tweaks that we want to incorporate, we'll continue numbering up. So uh, for the install process, uh, this is the one we're using on this tutorial, but you might see something just a little bit different in the future. So we'll say open, and we'll say yes, and then we'll say OK, and OK. Now, here's our Conduct toolbar. So that pops up. We're good to go there. I find that even though we installed as an RBZ, I think it's best just to close SketchUp and reopen it. So let's do that. I think because on uh, when, when you open SketchUp, that's when it loads the plugins. And this way, we know that Condoc is fully loaded, our template's good to go, we're all set. All right, so if I go to Extensions, Condoc, Activate, let's see what we've got here. So right now, this is licensed to me, Michael Brightman. I can click on Deactivate License. And what you're going to need to do, so like, you know, if, you're, if you don't have this activated, See, it's going to keep on popping up for you. So you'll activate a tool, it won't work. Activate a tool, it won't work. Although, the perspective tool is free, so that will work. But um, if I just click on any of these tools, it's going to ask me for an activation key. Now, that's where we get over into this email here. So I mentioned that you're going to see at the end of the purchase confirmation page, uh, you're going to see the, the license, or go to your purchase receipt email that you'll get from the Conduct Tools purchase, and here's your Conduct Tools license. I'm going to copy that, hop back over into SketchUp, and paste that in right there. I'll click on Activate, and we're good to go. That's it. So now every time you open up SketchUp, your, your Conduct Tools is active, and uh, no problem there.